be the bank. That one concept, that one idea really is what got me into crypto. I wanted to be the bank. It first started with self-custody. I just want to own my assets. Uh, back in the day, there was a trucker's convoy in Canada, and I supported them because, I don't know, I come from that world, and I used to work on the oil rigs, and I I like my blue-collar trades, and I, I cheer for them, and I thought what they were doing was, you know, overall, a um, like a brave, courageous move, and so I supported them. And a month or so later, Canada was shutting down bank accounts of people who supported them. They were threatening to like freeze your accounts, etc. And I was like, wow, it was a legal cause. And the banks, and then I, I got further into like, what do I actually sign when I get a bank account? And it's like, oh, if you look at your, at the legal documents of your bank account, at least for, for most of the Canadian banks here, and I'm guessing this is pretty much worldwide, it's like we can freeze your assets, we can shut your bank account down for any reason. Obviously, like if the government gets involved, it's wild. The money is not even yours. In fact, the bank basically is, you're lending it to the bank and they're promising to pay you back. But if they go bankrupt, they don't need to pay you back. It's not your money. And... That kind of got me into like, okay, I want self-custody. So I was moving, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars onto the blockchain. And obviously, when you move, you know, half a million dollars over, you start really paying attention to security and how it works. And then I realized, oh, instead of just sitting on this stuff, I can provide liquidity. Which is a fancy way of saying I can just provide the capital. I can basically be the bank. So when people swap and trade and buy and sell... I'm the one providing the liquidity for that to happen, and I get paid the fees. And that obviously opened up a world of different strategies, different tactics, different DEXs, different ecosystems, uh, different strategies overall, different strategies that are built on top of strategies. And how can I make a consistent income, just like the banks do, in a decentralized manner? And that's what got me hooked on this. I'm just like, that is so powerful. That concept, that's why I believe this space will be way bigger in 10 years than it is now. It gives the power to the people. It gives the power to you and me. The banks have so much control because they control the money. They can do whatever they want. Uh, maybe a month or two ago, I wanted to get 20 grand out and I wanted it cash. And it was like not happening. Like they were like, You're a, are you a criminal? Like it was not happening. I had to order it. It was a bunch of BS. If anyone's ever tried to, if you've tried to take 10, 20, 50 grand out, it's like you're not getting it. I'm like, but it's mine. And it's not like, oh, we just don't have it. It's like, oh, we need to have you fill out all these documents, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't want to fill out the documents I don't mind waiting a day or two if we need a money order. I get it. But like, what's going on here? And it it, it, it gives the power back to the people. And I like that to me inspires the crap out of me. It's why we do what we do. It's why I get up every morning and do this crap. And it's just like, how do I produce more videos, more content? I, wa I need people to know this. How do we make the UIG even better? How do we create better education, better community, better instructors? How do we get better? Because this is the future. Full stop. And I believe that wholeheartedly. We want to be the bank. And I cannot wait for a world where, like, the banks, the banks have, they've, they've created no innovation over the last, there's almost no innovation. It's all the same. And they got a bank card and ATMs and a visa, which just serves them anyways, because with, like, ludicrous, people are getting consumer debt and, and they're getting charged a ridiculous amount of interest. I cannot wait for a world where the banks are like, oh, we have competition. Like people have an alternative option. We better make our products really, really good. And now the banks serve the people instead of, you know, being service for themselves. And basically it's criminal. It's why I love this space. Be the bank. It's a reminder to be the bank. Be the bank. Control your wealth. Control the interest. Control the flow. Control your money. Own it.